Hey, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, and welcome to our Force Field Armor Overview. Now, what you're going to see in front of me is a smattering of some of the highlights of the Force Field Armor that I've pulled out. And really, what I want somebody who is watching this video, who's who's looking at different styles of armor, whether it be some of the top competitors, if it's race armor, if it's off-road armor, if it's potential beefed up armor that they're going to wear in their typical everyday riding on the bike, what you have to know about Force Field is they've been around since 1987. They started as equestrian armor and realized they were onto a new technology that was really a game changer in the amount of energy it either absorbs or transfers to the body. So what they've done, they've branched out into snowboard, snowmobile, skiing, and now the motorcycle world for the last decade or so. It's out of the UK and what you're going to, the big claim of fame here is the protective elements. So I'm going to start with the back protection and how back protection is measured is at the CE2 level of scale. So for something to pass it needs to be CE2 rated. What that means is it's measured in kilonewtons and it's how much energy is transferred through the pad to your body. The standard to be CE2, if somebody says it's CE rated back armor, is 9 kilonewtons. The force field stuff cuts it in half. The L2, which is their entry level at 140 bucks, transfers 4.6 kilonewtons. The sub four, which is the only sub four kilonewton transferring back armor on the market, is 3.67, under more than half of, of of where they would need to be just to be in the ballpark. Um, the American Medical Association, you know, when they speak about injuries and motorcycle crashes, all of the testing that's done says that when you get around that four kilonewton of energy mark, that's when um, dramatic injuries can start happening to the body. So for both of these armors to be well under where they need to be just to pass that standard, they're going to be a big step above anything or a lot of things that are out there on the market. All of the Force Seal product uses what they call Be Cool, which is the fabric lining that's going to go around everything. It's wicking, it's antimicrobial, it's removable, washable, it's designed to keep you cool, keep you dry, but absorb everything as well as not develop any funk. Notice here on my left, or my right rather, your left, we have an action short, which is going to be basically a beefed up padded armored short. We have limb tubes for both elbows and knees, and what that is is think of you know your regular, your regular force field armor with the triangular armor pattern that you see on, on a bunch of their stuff, and basically take that and build a sock around it, a, a antimicrobial be cool sock that's durable and rigid, and what that's going to do is it's going to cover more surface area, you have a better chance of keeping that armor in the right place. They also make an action shirt doesn't have back armor built in, but it's shoulders, elbows, and chest as well. The other thing you're going to notice with this stuff that no one else is really focusing on is that when they talk about CE rating and CE approval, it's not just the padding, it's not just the armor, it's the rivets, it's the snaps, it's the velcro, it's the straps. It's everything that goes into this armor and saying, okay, great, if you got hit in a crash, dead on, dead center, and it's not trying to pull it away from your body, it's going to take that impact and it's going to transfer the right amount of, uh, the right amount of newtons. Basically what they've done is in CE rating everything down to the rivets on this guy, it means that if you ever get yourself into a situation where something's trying to pull the back armor away from your body or pull the armor off the sleeve or something tensile strength, something's trying to potentially tear it, what's going to happen is this armor is beefed up and certified at that level as well. So you have the best ability to keep the armor close to your body in the place that it's going to be as well as protect you. So that's Force Field's claim to fame. Like I said, they've been around since 1987. We've been very excited to finally start carrying them here at RevZilla. If you have any questions about their line, both for the racers or for off-road or everyday use, give us a ring, 877-792-9455, or shoot us a line at cs at revzilla.com. Any of the force field stuff qualifies for free shipping over 39 bucks. It qualifies for first exchange free, and anything over $100 in this lineup is going to qualify for Teamzilla Cash as well. Thanks for watching Revzilla TV today. We hope you find the force field armor that you're looking for.